The U.S. and China, a struggle for hegemony. Recently, Straits Times editor Asad Latif claimed that the U.S. and China's struggle for dominance in ASEAN is between two contrasting systems, with China's one being similar to the ancient tributary system, where China holds Tianxia ambitions, which is to establish a hierarchy with itself as a center hegemon, while the American's one follows the Westphalian system, where all nations are equally sovereign and free from foreign influence. Latif went on to conclude that small states within ASEAN would clearly prefer the US, who values them as partners on the same level as them. Contrary to his statements, it is clear that both America and China desire to be hegemonic entities, with US uh, being the actually successful of the two. After all, it is the Americans, not the Chinese, who hold sway over a considerable number of nations, have currency reserve status, and are able to project military force anywhere on Earth. The US is viewed as a relatively benign hegemon, where as long as you avoid provoking it and instead choose to cooperate with it, you can reap plentiful rewards. The US is reputable for contributing to international programs such as the Marshall Plan, Fulbright scholarships, and provision of foreign aid to developing countries. America has also provided public goods through its creation and enforcement of economic and financial institutions, opening up of its vast market and defending those under its influence. Hence, it fulfills its duty as a hegemon by promoting prosperity, maintaining stability, and offering protection. In particular, the US holds great sway over Western Europe, the Persian Gulf, and East Asia. Latif asserted that the US's role in Southeast Asian uh, region is simply as a counterbalance to China's hegemonic aims. Uh, this could not be further from the truth. The Americans have never given up their hegemony in the area to China. It is actually China who serves as a counter to the American hegemony. Small states in ASEAN do not care if either China or America is a hegemon or not. Rather, they are more concerned as to what influential nations do with the power that they do have. Therefore, instead of a battle between ideologies and systems, to small states, it is merely a question of pragmatism. If small states perceive the Chinese economic and territorial aims in the region to be threatening, then they will remain under the US. However, should the small states believe that China is ready to replace America and fill the role of provider and protector, then they shall switch sides.